Welcome. Today we're exploring the Galleria Mercado and the Underground Museum. Let's go. Hey there, Kaleidoscope Clan. How's everyone doing? This is Mariposa Maat, and we're here for another adventure in Bahia, the Galleria. But it's going to start off on the motorbike. Let's go. And we're off. I had to show you a few scenic snapshots of the streets of Bahia. It's truly one of my favorite parts of the day is riding on the moto. You do not find a happy life. You make it. So we're heading to that yellow building there. It's a beautiful painting. So yes, we're here at the Mercado. And this is my friend Wanderson. Is this where I get the money to? There's the elevator, the famous elevator coming down from Calorino. And this is the building of the Mercado. There is um, an art gallery at the bottom, so that's where we're going. Okay. So he just told me that this building, was, it was built or it was? Was built. In 1860? 1860, yes. And then they found the lower part in 19 when? 1984. Wow. So it was hidden. It yeah. was secret. It was like an underground. Yeah, well, of course, they might have used some sometime in in the 19th century, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I don't. I don't know why yeah, this whole part was uh, saved for many years. Yeah, people believe that they would hide unenslaved people here. Sure. But no, it, historically, it might not be possible. You don't go. Well, Kaleidoscope Plan, as far as that's concerned, we all know that there are lots of things that could have happened that are very secret. So it's very interesting to actually go down here and to see these hidden tunnels. There's a limited amount of space, and so you have to sign up, and they have a tour guide who does an intro for you before you go in. And as would only be proper, there's SU opening the way for us at the entrance. And this is the next exhibition no, entitled no. Tears. Oh, actually, that one, that one, that one. Very lovely. That's what the history says. <laughs> and you see the water? The water has to do with the wow. tide. Oh, nice. So, so that's water down there. Um, that's and every bead of light that you see is a little ball of water in suspension. It's really gorgeous to see them all together. My imagination went wild in this magical fairy land. <laughs> That's what it felt like. And it's so interesting that they actually turned what are, were seemingly a dungeon into quite the opposite, something very ethereal and light. 
they said that the tears have nothing to do with slavery or anything like that, but I don't know, somehow it all comes together. I've seen a number of slave dungeons in my day and somehow that's exactly what rings true under here for me. I can definitely see that happening for 124 years underground. In this area, they shared a lot of historical civic information. But you see, they're not really black. No, only him. He's the only chocolate one there. So I think the society was segregated because in the other pictures, we see all black people. For sure, for sure. Very segregated. Very segregated. So yes. Capoeira, birambao. We we love we love the culture, don't we? My mini priest mm. uh, in Candomblé oh, okay. in Bahia. She definitely took Candomblé to another level uh, uh, of vis visibility and respect in, in the country. Okay. And what was her name, Menina? Uh, mother, mine, Menina, Menina, uh -huh. little girl of Cantua. Cantua is the name of her Candomblé. Uh, a famous cook in all black people. Yes, yes. So it, it makes me think that it was those who were more uh, Indian, uh, native. Yeah, uh, or, uh, or by, or a common. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah. next. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Yes, the story of Salvador is very intriguing and complex socially. It's so deep one could study it for a lifetime. But this afternoon has been great. Just dipping my toe in. thoroughly enjoyed the old photography. And these art pieces were a lovely touch. They're also sitting above water from the tide. And I really like the effect that it has. Very lovely. Very African flair. Or I guess it could also be um, native from Brazil. Lovely. We're coming up from the art gallery. Obrigada. And now we're in the mercado. Que bom, que bonita, todo. Very nice. So apparently there's still some serious racial issues because people were trying to get in. No, I'm, I'm, tell, I'm telling the video that apparently there's still some racial issues here because people of a certain complexion were trying to cut us in line for some reason. Very strange. So they, it's, it's, it's Only darkies here. Well, let me just jump to the front. Okay. Anyway. Yes. Wanderson's yeah, so not having it. <laughs> <laughs> he let everybody know that he's not having it. Okay. Should I get the cowrie shell necklace here, or should I go somewhere else? Oh, that's the best place. Here. I see one. Yeah. 
Well, let's see what they have. So I want a cowrie shell necklace. Look before, yeah, before I and get a quote of the price. So the Mercado was bustling, but not crowded. It was actually so done I very like well, very modern all throughout, very clean. And it had a selection of just about anything you could imagine that a tourist would want. Gorgeous clothes delectable foods from Brazil, wow. like cacao, natural items, jewelry, housewares. It was a little overwhelming. I'm in shopping heaven, but you can't buy it all. And not only that, oh, all right. That's okay. Yes, the Galleria was a wonderful time spent and one could actually spend a full day there. They also have restaurants. And look, I've gotten some fresh coconut water just outside in the front. Always my favorite way to end a day in the tropics. Well, that was a wonderful experience. El Mercado. with my wonderful friend, Wanderson, who has been such a wonderful resource to me. Let's take a picture here. So this wraps up another pristine day in Salvador. There I am, that is at the monument. And I'm so happy that you came and shared with me, Kaleidoscope so Plan. Thanks so much. You continue to embody the sacred transformation. This is Many Post Ma'at signing out. And until next time, peace.